Which one of these two programs are going to make you stand out from the crowd? Let's think of Lightroom as a Toyota V6 Land Cruiser. Yeah, I know, it sounds stupid, but bear with me. There is a point here, if I can find it. So if Lightroom is a Toyota V6 Land Cruiser, let's think of Photoshop as a Toyota V8 Land Cruiser. So which is best? Well, it rather depends, doesn't it? If you're towing a huge heavy caravan, then the V8 may be essential to remain within your legal towing weight and desirable to have the power to tow such a heavy caravan. Now the Toyota V6 Land Cruiser will tow most caravans, certainly those big enough for families. So where am I going with this? Well, for 95% of the time, or in some cases 100% of the time, it very likely makes no difference at all whether we're riding in a V6 or a V8, whether we're using Lightroom or Photoshop. Now, both of these are stunning image editors and your choice of what to use is going to make no difference whatsoever to the vast majority of your photography, if not all of it. Just pick one and stay with it. It's not the software that's key to success. It's the person in control of the mouse, or in my case, a graphics tablet. It's like believing our photography will be better solely due to the camera we use, or whether a PC or a Mac is best. As if the person holding the camera or using the computer doesn't have a role to play. Now we all learn pretty quickly that an old, outdated camera in the hands of a good photographer will run rings round the inexperienced photographer with the latest camera. You just can't buy success. Why the car analogy? Well, we wouldn't drive one car differently from another, would we? And it's the same thing with image editing. Now I'm talking Lightroom and Photoshop here, but we could include as many other image editors as we like. It won't make any difference. It's not the software we use, it's what we do with it that makes the difference. It's a learning process around any software you decide to use and there's no shortcuts around it. Can you think of anything in your experience that really benefits from a shortcut? Because we as humans don't value what is simple and easy to produce. Now, whether it's Photoshop or Lightroom, there's broadly eight sliders that we have to learn and understand. Now, I've been around amateur photographers my entire adult life, which does give me a unique view of the biggest weakness, and that is image editing. Exposure, colour, contrast, clarity, etc. If you find image editing a chore, then it's likely to be because you haven't reached that point where your confidence has developed and your workflow speeds up as a result. I know many avoid image editing because they've told me so. But it comes back to the fact that there are no shortcuts and you've just got to hang in there a little longer. We do get tied up with the technicalities of our camera and lenses and the software for image editing, but unless we take the time to learn the how, we won't move forward. And the truth is, it's not too hard to do. I think that the satellite navigation we have in our cars is another good analogy. It's superb technology, but if we don't know where we're heading, it's useless. With image editing, we need to know where we're going and why. And it's not so hard to learn if we just take those first eight or so sliders and become familiar with them. My message in this video is that for now, image editing is part and parcel of any good photographer's skill set. And without it, you're unlikely to be a confident or consistent photographer. A good way forward is to look at what software those around you are using, and we'll stay with Photoshop and Lightroom for the moment, 
and follow their lead, so that when you need a little help, you can easily find that help. Try to avoid looking for presets or anything that suggests there is a shortcut to image editing. Just dig in, spend a little time and the road ahead will flatten out sooner than you think. Until then, have fun and I'll see you next time.